If curiosity killed the cat, then I guess it's good that I don't give a fluff. So there's this saying I heard the other day, and it goes like this. If you're not interested, you're not interesting. What? So what you're saying is, if I'm not interested by lots of stuff in life, like the latest rubber mouse cat toys, or if I'm not interested in what's going on in the world, like, why is this string dangling in front of my face? Or if I'm not interested in your latest catnip score, then that means I'm not interesting. I'm not an interesting cat. What a bunch of malarkey. I find the more I ignore the dancing string, the more it wants my attention. And the less I care about rubber mouse toys, the more variety of mouse toys my human brings home. My point is, my human gets more interested in me the more I show disinterest in her. Here's my philosophy. Don't give a fluff, you'll get more stuff. Let me put this in a human perspective. It's like when you really like a girl and you like her so much that you come off desperate when you ask her out. I'm talking to you, Jedi Stopper TK421 busted. You're just gonna creep her out. Don't give her so much attention, you weirdo. Play it cool and show a little disinterest like me. Do you want a nap and have delicious wet food brought to your room and get scratched behind your ears and shower with affection so much that it actually makes you sick? <laughs> well, I do. I'm living the dream, sweet peas. I'm not curious about the dream. I'm living the dream. So much so, the dream is boring to me. See, when you're bored, that's when you're truly happy. Because that means everything is super duper, dudes. So maybe I'm boring after all. And that's fine with me. P.S. I know it's my human dangling the string in my face. Don't tell her, though. I don't want to shatter the illusion. She's a fragile being. Stay fluffy, my friends.